The city today unveiled a new affordable rental project in Makiki. The developer is one of dozens taking advantage of a city program that aims to produce nearly a thousand new affordable rentals. Rick Desog reports. The latest affordable rental project at the corner of Ernest and Green Streets in Makiki has an attractive location for people who work downtown. And for those with the incomes that qualify, the starting rents for the three-story, 26-unit project are even more attractive. I would say somewhere around 1,200. Developer Paul Lamb says he and his partners have several other similar projects planned in urban Honolulu. We have 200 more units planned for the next two years, and uh, they're all in this metro area, uh, on Pensacola, on Kenal, on Alapai, and here on Ernest Street. This right now is really tied to affordable housing for those people working very hard to make ends meet, to be able to finally have that and call it their own. The Ernest Street apartments are part of an incentive program under Bill 7, which will add nearly a thousand affordable units in town. Dozens of developers are taking advantage of the easier density and parking requirements for small lots. Not all Bill 7 projects have been popular with their neighbors. This rental complex, which was initiated during former Mayor Kirk Caldwell's tenure, was stalled for several months during the pandemic, and some have called it an eyesore. It's unfortunate they've run into these issues and delays, so we're going to be looking at you know, what's causing the, these delays and if there's anything that's an issue on the city side. Hawaii News Now spoke with one of the development partners, architect Don Huang, who says the delay was due to pandemic-era building supply shortages and labor shortages, but that construction is back on. He added that a group of homeless people also raided the property, taking advantage of the water supply. But Wong says the 29-unit project, which will have one bedroom and studio units starting at $1,400 a month, will be completed by the middle of next year. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.